Alrighty. The purpose of this video is just to give a, uh, hopefully a, a quite detailed um, tutorial on how to properly install uh, a solderless mod chip. Uh, I'm going to be showing you with the D2 Pro today, which is a very popular mod chip. Uh, the first thing uh, you'll need, you'll need a trialing screwdriver, which we have on our, on our website. Um, this is my own one, it's been used a thousand times, but it'll look a, di a bit different. Um, of course, D2 Pro, or uh, the D2 Wall, or whatever solderless mod chip you bought, uh, that comes with the D2 Pro and the, just a little, uh, little cable. Um, a little screwdriver. I'm going to use two today because um, I'm a little bit pedantic, but um, one is fine. And another thing that might come in use is a, uh, a little razor blade or, or a scalpel, um, and maybe some electrical tape as well. Um, but you can probably get away with uh, not including some of them. Uh, the other thing you'll need is a, an original copy of a game from your region. So this is a, a PAL console. This is the PAL Wii Sports that came with the console. Um, and you might also want to have a backup of a, either a game or some GameCube games or a, a homebrew or something to test out the mod chip. All right, first thing uh, you have to remove are these, these two flaps here. So you just go like this and you press gently against here. That'll come off like that. Spin the console around. Alright, you've got three screws here. One, two, three. It's a good idea to uh, have something like this and uh, put all the screws so they don't fall on the ground because uh, if you mod your console and, and end up with uh, less screws you'd be pretty annoyed. Uh, this one's a bit hard to get so what I do is I take this off first, I start unscrewing it at the same time I swing it around like this and that lifts up otherwise you might have some uh, difficulty with that one. Uh, you'll see four screws here. These screws you do not need to remove. There's a lot of tutorials that say you need to remove these ones and it's simply not true. It's a waste of time. So uh, this, these are the tri two trialing screws, which means they have three blades. Remove one, and then the other one. Alright, it's done for the top. Put the console down like that. This is where the scalpel kind of comes in handy. There's four trying screws you need to remove. There, two under these rubber stoppers, and then two under these little uh, labels. Not the rubber stoppers on this side. So, you just kind of pick out like that, and you can do it without kind of any uh, visible damage to the Wii. So, remove these four screws here. Now, if you don't have a magnetic trialing screwdriver, which you probably will have if you bought from us, um, you might just need to unscrew them and then tip the console upside down. That's done for the side. Now, the, the bottom. So, this is the battery cover here. So, this is what you remove first. Um, before you remove the battery, it's probably a good idea on your uh, on your Wii to turn off Wii Connect 24 if you have it. Um, there's one more tiny little screw under this little rubber stopper here, um, and there's a trying on right beneath this label. So as you can see here, you got two triings and then one of those black screws that was on the top. So remove the black screw first, and this is also a hard one to get out. What I do is I, I kind of pull on the cover so it has something to grip up against when it's coming off. And then these two trying screws over here. Alright, that's uh, pretty much everything for the external case. Now what you do is you just pull gently against here and then you can put your, your nail in there and it just comes off like that. Um, a lot of people remove this little this little thing here, but if you're careful enough, you don't even need to worry about putting it, taking it out and putting it back in. Uh, there are now four screws here. One, two, three, four. 
and that's just holding the DVD drive onto the actual uh, onto the actual Wii. So we want to remove these four screws. Now just be careful with these ones here. Um, it's great if you have a magnetic screwdriver, otherwise um, they might fall into the DVD drive. Now, some people have difficulty with this bit here, but it's pretty easy. Just you gently lift the DVD drive up about a centimetre, and you slide it over to the left. And then this little thing will pop out here. And if you look like that, um, it's the ribbon cable for the uh, DVD drive and then the power. So you can just gently flick that off. And then this comes with a little clip. You just pop it up like that, and it comes off. So this is your DVD drive. That's pretty much what, what plays the games. Um, and this is your Wii motherboard where all the, all the software is. So I just put that aside for now. Now, basically this part here is the uh, is a security chip. Um, and hopefully you've purchased the right mod chip for your security chip. Um, this one is, is D2E. Right, so I'll put this here. Now I'll grab my clip. Now, the Wii Clip package comes with an extra wire, which is for certain versions of the D2 Pro that have difficulties and, and you need to solder one wire, but it, it should be 100% solderless now with the latest firmware. Um, another one is this little protect label. Um, I don't know where, where people like to put them. I mean, there's nothing to protect over here, but most people want it over here, but um, yeah, for today's purpose, we'll just leave it out. Um, and I'll show you what this is in a second. Um, the Wii Clip is a, is a high precision device, so I mean you've only got a couple of, of kind of chances to get it get it on properly. If you stick it on and off 20 times, it's going to lose its grip. Uh, but once it's on tightly, uh, you shouldn't have any issues. Right, so basically, uh, you know, it's the same application for all solderless um, wide chips. They all go on the same security chip. Um, D2 Pro, D2 All. Uh, the new Wiki uh, version 2, which will be out soon, hopefully, a clip for that. So basically, you just you place it gently onto that security chip, okay, and once it's kind of aligned uh, properly, you just press down on it. As you can see over here, press down all the way. And that's it, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, the first thing you want to do is, is test it out to make sure uh, everything's all good. I mean, you don't want to close up the Wii without testing it. It's a, a bit of a waste of time. So, let's put the Wii motherboard back here. Flip this little thing open here. Pass that back in. And you close it down. And the power. And you can just place the DVD drive nicely, like that. All right. Next thing we need is uh, is power. Now I'm not hooking this up to the screen because you can you can tell if the D2 Pro is working without um, without looking at the screen actually, um, and other mod other, other nine wire mod chips. Basically, if, if the mod chip power is on, um, it either totally works or totally doesn't work. Um, now this is don't use a screwdriver. I'm going to do it because I'm, I'm naughty, but don't use a screwdriver to do this. Use something like a grey lead where you're not going to short out anything. Um, there's a little power button here that you can turn on and you'll see that uh, the D2 Pro lit up like that. Basically if you get a, a constant red light something's uh, gone wrong. This is for the D2 Pro. Um, if you hear the DVD drive cycle like that, I'll show you again, uh, it means that uh, everything's uh, all good.